guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm starting my quilt video with you guys. I've already started it, but I thought I'd get a little start before I started filming, um, just because I was in the mood to get it started and I wasn't ready to film it just yet. I've been wanting to make myself a quilt for ages and I made the quilted jacket and so now I'm going to try making an actual quilt. I also made some quilted cushions for my website, so they're up on there. So yeah, I just really wanted to have a go at this. I'm gonna try and do it reasonably quickly <laughs> because I've got other stuff to get on and make. I was doing some sewing yesterday and I've managed to strain my neck again. I don't know how this keeps happening, doing sewing, but like down the whole like left side of my back and up my neck is like, in so much pain. So I probably shouldn't be sewing today, but I'm going to because I just really want to. Also something very exciting arrived this week in my studio. I've been looking at getting a new machine for a while and I was looking for a domestic machine, but they're all so expensive when they get quite fast. Um, and I needed it for the speed really more than anything. And then I was just like, why don't I just get an industrial machine like we used at uni? So fast, very reliable. Um, so that is what I did. I'm not using her for the first part of the quilting project because I'm not sure if the foot is the right size for this. So yeah, let me show you. Here she is. So I bought this machine from the website Tyso, which is based in London, I think. But they were really helpful with everything. I kept ringing them up with questions. It came delivered, all set up and ready to go. So that is my new machine. And for everyone wondering, this is the model that I went for. They had a few cheap, slightly cheaper ones, um, but the lady said that this one is probably the one I should go with, so I trusted her. <laughs> and so far so good. I haven't sewed a garment with this just yet, but I'm very, very excited to. I've also set it up in this little corner, which I love to sit here and so because I can see my computer which often has like things playing on Netflix and I'm also sitting right next to the window so I can look outside and I can see if the post is coming or anything like that which is quite handy um, and next to a radiator so in the winter be nice and toasty so yes that's my very very exciting purchase so let's get on and I'll show you where I'm at with this quilt and what it's going to hopefully look like. <laughs> so as I said before, I have started on this quilt, but I haven't got that far. Um, so this is the first job is to make up blocks like this. And this is the selection of fabrics I've gone with. I've gone with this really gorgeous sort of monochrome, slightly cream floral, and then this dark cream and black floral and then this very light pink shade and then this red one might not be going in there um i've only got two of those so it's not very many um and then this is the other fabric i've got in there which i love so much yeah i've kept these pieces to show you what i did to get up to this point so i cut out lots of six by six inch squares to get this and then you put good sides together and i draw a line down the middle and then stitch either side of that with a quarter inch foot and then you just slice down the middle of that like so and you press these open and you have your triangles that's super easy and that creates these ones here and now i need to stitch this seam to this seam and that seam to that seam press them open and then stitch down here and then we'll have blocks that look like this so that is what they look like laid out um, and then I'll obviously have sashing down the middle and through there and I might have a little square in the middle I'm not sure if I want to do that yet or not I probably will I'm just taking these sections over to my machine so I can just reach next to me and not have to go to and from the desk
just laid out my quilt and it is looking rather large. <laughs> I'm having to like crawl around it. Then my next step is to make the centers for each piece and I'm going to do a mixture of the spotty one and this fabric. I need to figure out how wide I want these um, and then I need to do the sashing in between. But yeah it's so satisfying to just sit here and stare at it. I changed my jumper by the way because I went out on a walk and it's raining every single day at the moment and we luckily didn't get caught in a torrential downpour that happened straight after we got back from a walk. I'm going to measure out the sashing and get those cut out ready to sew. So this is what the block looks like once it's been sewn together. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing this morning. And then after I've done all of those, I will probably neaten out all the edges and figure out how long I need the sashing to be in the middle. So I've sewn all of the middle sashing in between the blocks and now I am going to go in and add the long one that runs down the middle. Sewn all of the blocks together so they now are on the floor laid out ready to have their sashing done so I think I'm going to cut pieces this big and then have long strips going down there so that is what I'm doing now it seems to be constantly raining outside so I chose very good weather for doing this little quilting project <laughs> Here's the quilt so far. I'm so glad that I didn't accidentally stitch one bit the wrong way around um, because believe it or not there is actually a system going on here. So the next step will be to add a thicker border of the black floral all the way around um, and then figure out my scallop pattern but I'll probably do the scallop pattern once I've quilted it. I might take it upstairs and just try it on my bed quickly for size and see how much I don't want to add to the sides. Spot's already testing it out while I try it on the bed. Um, so I think I'm gonna add like maybe 20 centimeters onto each side or plus. I want it to kind of come down to here, I think.
So as you will have just seen, I have been spray basting my quilt, which basically means I lay it all out really flat and I used a spray adhesive. Um, and I also, mum and I tacked some little bits around the edges and placed some of these quilting pins in. And now I've rolled it together because you work from the center outwards. So I've got my machine up on this desk because <laughs> I thought this is gonna be the easiest place to work with such a huge quilt. <laughs> we also marked out the lines I'm going to be doing so that everything's just a lot easier, basically. So that's what I'm gonna get on and do now. taken a few days off from working on the quilt. Uh, yesterday I went to see my grandma for the day because it was her birthday and then the day before that I can't remember what I was doing. But anyway I'm back to it today and I've just been cutting out my bias trim for going around the edges of my scallop. So you will have seen me laying out the quilt, quilting it and then I cut the scallops around the edges and so now I'm at the stage of making the binding and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough fabric um, but I'm gonna just quickly sew all of these strips together and see how long that is and see how much more I need to cut. I've just set up my industrial machine with cotton thread in it so I'm gonna use that to sew all the binding together. So yeah I've cut these two and a half inch strips out on the bias and I'm just gonna sew them together when you stitch them together, you have to stitch them like this, sort of going down on diagonal. So when it folds out, it's also on the diagonal still. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit and sew those and then see how long that gets. I've just sewn the binding to the back and quilting binding is a bit different. It's basically just doubled over um, instead of typical bias binding. So I'm just gonna press this flat now and then that will turn it over and I can go and stitch the top bit. Binding is now done. I pressed it down and then I pressed it around and just top stitched it on and that means that the quilt is done and it's ready to go and wash and get all fluffed up so yeah i'm gonna go pop this in the wash and then i will show you guys what it looks like You can get cat hair all over it now. <laughs> the quilt has been washed and tumble dried and it is finally finished. I don't know what to do with it at the corners to be honest. It's very big. 
Yes, you like it. I didn't make cushions for it in the end because I thought that my cushions I already have might look quite good with it. Um, and I can always make those at a later date if I fancy it, but I thought those colours actually went pretty well. So funny, I never thought I'd make a black quilt, but I really love how it's turned out. Hey Spot! And Spot is very happy. But yeah, I'm not going to be too precious about this because it's a quilt and quilts are meant to be loved and messed around and it doesn't matter if it gets a few rips and everything like that. Anyway, I will try and leave links to as many things as possible that I used in the video, such as batting, spray adhesive um, and everything like that. And if you are interested in anything else, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to get back to you all. And yeah, I feel like my normal life can resume a bit now and I can actually get on and get some stuff done. <laughs> but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.